This first clip comes to us from Genghis Bong, and pay attention because it's gonna go by really fast. He kills a plane with the mortar on the Mark V land ship. Well, hey guys, Rogue Monkey Jr. here for Zing Sice's Battlefield 1 Top Plays Episode 14. This next clip comes to us from a player called Luzidon, and he's using the M1903 Experimental in Fort DeVoe. He's getting a nice little kill streak here two kills, three kills, four kills, five kills. God, holy hell, he's. <laughs> Six kills, seven kills, eight kills almost? Can he get eight kills and gets taken down? Awesome clip, man. This next clip comes to us from a player called GJHKFexy. Yeah, I think I think that's right. So he's using the SMLE Mark III carbine. So with the sight on, and he's absolutely going on a tear here. That's like seven kills already. And wow, that, that's impressive already. Gets set, I think that's eight kills right there. Just starts reloading, are we done yet? No, no, I don't think we're done yet. Gets another two two kills, holy hell, this guy's on fire. Wow, his aim's on point too, he's hardly missed any shots. And as I say that, he's missing a couple shots, but that is impressive, man. The kill feed is all him right now. Oh, wow, that is awesome. This next clip comes to us from a player called PJ Humps H, and he is playing operations on Foul Fortress, attacking the Sector B, and he is gonna get loads of kills here. He is ab. <laughs> wow, that's already five kills, six kills. He is absolutely gonna destroy the enemy team trying to defend Bravo, and he is gonna pretty much help his team secure this objective here as he's getting kill after kill with the Model 10A Hunter, and he is not not even done yet. That, that is what I call, uh, you know, carrying the team if I can say so. Oh my god, that's like 12 kills already. Wow, wow, what, what a flag cleanup, man. This next clip comes to us from a player called Fatalis Nitro, using the Hell Regal on Fort DeVoe. Now you're gonna see here the strength of the Hell Regal is its large magazine capacity, as he is just gonna... <laughs> I'm not even going to count the kills here, there's just too many. He's just going to chew through the almost the entire enemy team. I think he got a nice little flank off on these guys and is absolutely just cleaning up the house. Awesome clip, man. This next clip comes from a player called Junior, also using the Hell, Hell Regal. Pardon. But this is not the, what he's going to get the majority of his kills with. Watch the mini map there on the left. Look at all the enemies. And yes, you guys guessed it. He does have dynamite and he gets a total of 8 kills with that one stick of dynamite. Awesome clip, man. This next clip comes to us from a player called Ruben2000 and we got yet some more Hell Regal action for you guys as his teammate walks past somebody. And you guys can obviously tell that like the Hell Regal is probably one of the most uh, used weapons in the Assault class for SMGs other than of course the Automatico, but um, the Hell Regal has the advantage of like having that big massive magazine and this is one of my favorite spots to fight on ballroom blitz and he is tearing it up with his hell regal gets a double kill with his grenade and finishes off this guy with a pistol what a nice defense awesome clip man this next clip comes to us from a player called my gamer clips and he has the smle mark 3 infantry on ballroom blitz in the nice little hallway of death gets a cheeky two kills right there and this is a tricky setup to use in such close quarter combat especially in this part of the map um, your aim has to be on point, and trust me, this player's aim is on point. Four kills right there. Five, six, seven. Quick little flick of the wrist. Eight, and a final ninth kill. Awesome job, man. This next clip comes to us from a player called Unicorn Scientist, and I love your name, by the way. That is an awesome name. He is playing uh, Operations on the hell map is this? I re I'm really not even sure what map this is, but he is using the good old River Rolls 1918 factory and he is behind the enemy lines right now. Um, he is just tearing it up. This is one of the reasons why the River Rolls is so good. You're gonna see here in a second is the fact that it has a bipod attached to it and he is gonna make very good work of this in a second as he gets another kill right there and some dude just laying down trying to find him. He is absolutely tearing it up on the back lines and right here you're gonna see the bipod action it shoots so straight and you'd think he would die right here but no he's not quite done yet he still has a couple of kills to get 
Nice little club kill right there and he sees a tank and uh, he is gonna make quick work of him. And this is what you call a PTFO soldier as he has a hard time jumping on the train car. He just destroyed the tank and probably helped his team cap that point. Awesome clip, man. This next clip comes just from a player called Red Bananas and he is playing operations on the map Amiens and this is a notoriously difficult point to take here because it can be so crowded in such a small area and people are chucking gas and smoke and fire everywhere and he is actually killing everybody with the M97 trench gun hunter. Um, this is a obviously a very good weapon for close quarter combat as it is uh, basically slam fire so pretty much almost a semi-automatic shotgun and he he's absolutely killing it right now. Wow. Obviously, he, we can see that he's playing on PC here, and oh, nice, getting triple kill right there from all the people laying down. Damn, he is he is really putting putting his gun and skills to work here to help his team cap the final points of the uh, map Amiens on operations. What an awesome clip, man! This next clip comes from a player called Faded Flies. Now he is absolutely gonna demolish with the field gun. If you think this uh, stationary weapon is useless, you are mistaken. He hits every single shot, gets a kill on a tank right there, then acquires a new target out in the distance that I hardly even see, shoots him, gets the vehicle destroyed, reloads again and watch this, looks for a next target, see sees a plane coming, he shoots and he gets the kill. Awesome clip, man. This next clip comes to us from a player called Ascend Metal Slug and he is a veteran of the Zinc Sices Battlefield 1 Top Plays series. This is his, uh, I don't even know how many submissions, but he gets incredible plays. He usually plays as Assault with the Automatico, but now he's switching it up for the MP18 Trench. And we have another match of operations on Amiens right now. And he is just gonna... He, he literally helps the team win and take this point because he just kills everybody, checks dynamite, just uses everything in his arsenal available to him to get those kills and help his team secure the point. The people are just rushing him and he is very, very quick on his feet. His reflexes are super fast and it shows because he is pretty much the Terminator. He is unkillable. <laughs> he gets a nice little revolver kill right there. And if you pay attention right here in a couple of seconds, he's going to get a massive triple kill of people rushing the B point to try and defend it and stop them from capping it. Going to get one kill here and then like three kills right Holy here and take the fuck. point. Awesome clip, man. This next clip comes to us from a player called Arib Gaming. And this is pretty cool. He jumps out of the bomber on Echo Point. Uh, this is on Sinai Desert and this is what we call precision throwing or Kobe as we would say chucks a nade and you can hear him say I hope it lands directly on him and it does land directly on him and gets the nice little vehicle destroyed and kills awesome clip man this next clip comes just from a player called NXJN and pay attention it goes by quick he clips a sniper in the middle of nowhere with his wing of the sop with camel fighter and his reaction is priceless awesome clip man this next clip comes to us from a player called Malaki23. I hope I said your name right. He's using the Labelle 1886 sniper and just picking people off from a distance on Verdun height. This is actually a pretty good distance, like 80, 100 meters, and he is just putting the sniper to work. One of, uh, well, my favorite weapons from the uh, French DLC, and gets another headshot here, and oh boy, this is a sniper's uh, wet dream, if I could say so. Bunch of enemies, no cover. Uh, what a glorious day. Well, that was just a nice kill streak right there. Awesome clip, man. This last clip comes to us from a player called Punk Odonk. And uh, he is defending on a, on operations right now. And he, he is, this is, this is pretty awesome, actually. He gets the first century because the attacking team gets uh, three different elite classes for their attack. And he is, uh, I, I, won't, I won't ruin, I won't spoil it for you guys, but um, he is probably going to take out most of their uh, elite classes. So that's two kills right there. He got the one with the MG, the one with the Villa Rosa. There's only the Flame Trooper left, and he is going to get him too while being taken down. 
but what an awesome clip. So that's it for this week's episode of Battlefield 1 Top Plays from Zinx Ice. If you guys would like to submit your own clip for the next episode, there's a link in the description down below, as well as that, a link to my own channel is in the description down below. If you haven't subscribed to Zinx Ice already, please be sure to do so, and also let us know in the comments down below which clip you thought was the best. And once again, I've been your host, Rug Monkey Jr. Thanks for watching and hanging out.